What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Frank Sanchez versus Nagy Aguilera, which is going to be a 10-rounder in the heavyweight division. And this fight is going to be Saturday, May 8th, from the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And this fight is going to be broadcasted on DAZN. And to get both fighters, Frank Sanchez fighting out of Cuba. He holds a record of 17 wins, no defeats, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number 26 by Boxer, and as an amateur, he had, a, he had an outstanding record of 214 wins with only 6 defeats, and he won many Cuba national amateur titles. But now, as a pro, he has some decent victories as he stopped Victor Bisbal inside 4 rounds. He also has a unanimous decision victory over Jack Malawai, as well as a unanimous decision victory over Joey DeWico. He's also knocked out Brian Howard inside four rounds. And back in December of 2020, he had a highlight reel knockout where he stopped um, Julian Fernandez in the seventh round with a beautiful right hand that sent him out of the ring. But um, Frank Sanchez, in my opinion, ranks amongst the top of the heavyweight prospects right now. Uh, he's very speedy, very powerful, and very technical, and he has some of the best footwork that I've seen um, out of a heavyweight. Uh, he's very, very skillful, as I was saying before, because he's had so many amateur fights. He's very experienced, and I'm looking forward to seeing him fight some of the top guys in the division soon. But um, he's training with Canelo Alvarez, and he's looked tremendous since then. I believe he joined the gym early in 2020, like in January, maybe February, but he's looked phenomenal since, in my opinion. Uh, he's shown that he's gained more power in that gym. He's working on his hooks working on the hooks to the body, the jab, and that lethal right hand of his. But uh, to get into his opponent's resume, uh, Nagy Aguilera, he holds a record of 21 wins, 10 defeats, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number 146 by box rec. And uh, don't really let his le record fool you, because most of his losses are to very well-known names, as I'm just going to be listing his most notable losses, as they are to Samuel Peter via knockout, Chris Ariola via knockout. Uh, he also has decision defeats to Antonio Tarver, Thomas Adamek, uh, Dominic Brazil, as well as to Gerald Washington. As the names I just listed are arguably like top 15, top 20 uh, during their times. As I believe that Dominic Brazil at that time was an unbeaten prospect, same with Gerald Washington. Thomas Adamek was sort of on his way out. Antonio Tarver as well. Samuel Peter at the time was just losing to Vladimir Klitschko, I believe so, back in like 2009, 2010, around there. And um, Chris Ariola was in his prime, in my opinion, at that time. But um, his best victories come against um, Marcin Rakowski via knockout in the 10th round. He also has a knockout victory over the former WBC heavyweight world champion Oleg Maskaev, where he stopped him inside one round. Although that fight was like 10 to 11 years ago, it's still a very, very good victory, showing that Aguilera has some pop in his punches. But um, he is coming off a unanimous decision victory over Terrell Jamal Woods back in uh, December of 2020. It was a six-rounder, and he won, I believe, very, very wide in all three judges' scorecards. Uh, in my opinion, this fight will be a one-sided beatdown in favor of Frank Sanchez. I think he will be able to dictate the pace. He will be able to land his powerful jab he possesses. Uh, he, will, he will be able to land that right hand, those hooks to the head, those hooks to the body that he's been working on with Canelo. And I think he will be much more powerful in this fight, as in the weigh-in, uh, he looked very, very strong and very, very heavy as he came in at a career high of 237 pounds, I believe Frank Sanchez started out his career at like 200 pounds. So I'm just shocked to see that since he's been training in uh, the Canelo gym, he's been working hard every single day. I've been seeing it, uh, that he's coming in much heavier, but he's coming in in great shape. Uh, he's very, very built, very, very strong. And I could definitely see him getting a, a tremendous knockout victory here. But the Nagy Aguilera, in his last fight, he actually weighed in at 255. But here, he's lost nearly 20 pounds and he came in at 238. Uh, and that's a very, very good look for him. He came in shape for this fight and he knows that if he wins, it could be a um, game changer in his career. And could definitely rebound him. Although, as of now, he's being seen as a journeyman in the ring. But um, Aguilera, he does have some skill, as most people really don't know that in the amateurs, he had a very, very good background winning some amateur titles in the, um, uh, like the Americas, the Caribbean, and all that. But um, Frank Sanchez is also a very, very well-experienced amateur. As I was saying before, he had 214 victories with only six defeats. 
and he's very, very skilled with great footwork as well. But um, Frank Sanchez, I believe, will be able to hurt um, Maggie Aguilera multiple times with his very powerful straight right and hooks to the head. And I don't really think that Sanchez will drop Aguilera. I think it will be similar to the Chris Ariola fight, where it's just really an accumulation of shots. But I think it will happen a little bit later on, like from round 6 through uh, 10. I believe that Frank Sanchez will be able to stop Nagy Aguilera standing. He will beat him up so bad that the referee will be warranted to stop the fight, or he may wobble him multiple times, which will lead uh, the referee to stop it. So overall, I believe that Frank Sanchez will get his 18th victory, 14th by knockout over Nagy Aguilera, and it will be a standing stoppage from round 6 to round 10. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.